All right, so hey, what's going on guys? Puck Luck here, Alex, and welcome to our first video on the channel. And this one is gonna be like a, a conversation, uh, my ideas about what's happening, reporting on basically, you know, this big, big, big thing that's happening, uh, in my opinion. And, and, and I know it's not fake because it's very, it's from a reputable source, you know, the Sportsnet, they're very reputable, reputable source, I was gonna say sport, source, they're very reputable source and they are have, uh, they're, you know, they're sports night, they're, they're a big company and they are, they, they don't lie. So, coming out from them and coming from different uh, sources as well, uh, Chris Letang could be gone from the Pittsburgh Penguins before the end of the season, mid-season, before February or after February uh, in the off-season. I don't know when he'll be gone, but it is possible that they will be dropping him. They want to because they have many players that are um, maybe considered better than him on the team. I don't think so, but maybe a little bit better than him. And that he is 30 years old. Let's start with that. Chris Letang is 30 years old. He has a four years left on his contract with Pittsburgh Penguins worth uh, 7.25 mil. Uh, you know, they, they, they like to get rid of that 7.25, you know, shed it towards maybe another player, another two players, something like that. Um, so certainly they'd like to get rid of him because of the cap space. And 7.25 is not that high, uh, you know, for a star player like him. You got you, the problem is you got you got Crosby and, and you got Malkin on that team, uh, who are really key factors to those salary uh, issues. Now Latang only has 7.25, not too bad, but taking off 7.22, 7.25. Could be pretty good for them. That would actually really help with, uh, you know, signing key players in the future and this off season and stuff like that. So I'm not sure when they're gonna do it. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna do it before February or if they're gonna leave him, uh, you know, do something during the off season. I don't know. But here's the thing: there's not a lot of teams that could probably afford him at this moment. There, you could definitely Chicago can. Uh, don't even think about it, Edmonton. Um, I was gonna say Toronto, but Toronto has Marner. They got Matthews. They got, they got some players to sign there so let's just leave Toronto to the side there but a team that's possible is like Arizona uh, possibly Montreal I know they have Shea Weber but they do have like eight mil or eight and a half mil worth of just under nine mil of cap space I think that this is going through my head this is I read this a couple of months ago I think they have around nine they have this like the second most amount of cap space right behind Arizona uh, left after the offseason and they haven't done anything with it now here's the thing if if a team like Montreal want to trade him, maybe Arizona possibly trade for him. Uh, you know, who could Arizona give? I don't know. Maybe Duclair, Domi. Maybe that wouldn't be the worst of things. You know, um, Clayton Keller possibly. Uh, I don't know. But that that like, who would he able to go for from Arizona? They don't have much value in their market. That's an issue with Arizona. That's why you don't see them making huge trades. You see them signing like Stefan in the off season, but they don't have a lot of trade value. Maybe Clayton Keller is worth quite a bit now because he's been killing it as a rookie. But really, you know, the only people you have is like Domi, uh, Duclair. I'm missing a player probably. Um, Ranta, I, I think that's their goalie now. I don't know. Anyways, uh, you know, they don't have much value in the trade market, but Montreal, on the other hand, has some value there. Uh, you've got Gallagher that you could possibly give up, which I don't see them doing at all. But a player that they could give up, and they haven't been using their the, him to at all pretty much in the last couple of years, is Alex Galchenyuk, a very talented winger and um, arguably a centerman as well. He can He's a diverse player. He is talented. He puts out full effort each and every game. And when he gets on a nice hot streak, he will... Just just go through the league uh, like I remember last year or maybe the year before I think it was he just was scoring goals uh, Every single game getting a point per game uh, for like the last like 20 games of the season crazy stuff from him So good for him and he has some value. I think I think he has quite a bit of value um, You know, maybe you know him and a draft pick for Latang possibly don't know but that's possible Possible situation. I don't know any other players. Uh, sorry any other teams that have any cap space to do this the Washington Capitals definitely don't have anything to, um, I'm not even thinking about the st. Louis Blues uh, the Boston Bruins could possibly do something but I don't really see it happening uh, what else Anaheim not gonna happen um, I'm just thinking of teams and Dallas is not gonna happen either they got uh, yeah, they got some players there, and they're, they're good anyways. They don't need it to him. You know, I'm thinking of teams that might need it. You know, uh, Rangers don't need it. They got McDonough back there. Uh, anyways, look, 
there are teams that might need him. There are teams that want him. We don't know what's going to happen. It's early, early uh, things, early announcements, early news. But it's interesting to see where this goes. And I know a few Pittsburgh fans, and they, I, I, I should ask them about what they think, actually. So, um, you know, look. Latang is 30 years old. Four years left on his contract. So whoever picks him up is going to have at least four, three years left on his contract. Um, and then they're going to have to re-sign him. And, you know, he's going to be 34, 35. Will you re-sign him after that? Put him as a free agent? Will you utilize him? Will the team that signs him utilize him uh, for the, you know, talent that he has now? Uh, I don't know what his stats are currently in this season. I think I read something like uh, 23 assists or something like that. Num -num -num -num. Uh, Letang only suited up for 41 games during the 2016-17 campaign, missed all playoff and re has recovered from a neck surgery. Through 37 games this season, Letang has 2 goals and 23 assists in 30 penalty minutes with a minus 15 rating. Now to be fair, Pittsburgh is not having the greatest seasons, so you can't just blame defense sometimes, you gotta blame the whole team. When a team like that is doing bad, two times Stanley Cup back-to-back -back champions, you know, all the Penguins fans, 3P, 3P, yeah, not gonna happen, I'm sorry, but look. You can't blame him completely. I don't really look too hard into the plus minus uh, category as a thing. It sucks when a player is like minus 100 or something, but you know, I don't look too far into it. But um, you know, 30 penalty minutes could have been a fight, could have been something, I don't know. But uh, he has two goals and 23 assists. I mean, 25 points for a defenseman is not too bad. That's uh, probably more than most of like Montreal. So it's not bad. I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, so that's pretty much sums up the video guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that the Pittsburgh Penguins will deal Chris Letang before the uh, end of the trade deadline or will they do it in the off season? Let me know what you think. I think that if really they want to make a difference in like in their standings and where they're going because they apparently want some scoring, some offense because apparently, you know, having Crosby Letang and, you know, people like Connor Sherry and, you know, Gunzel is not enough for your team, but whatever. If stuff happens. I think they're just having a slump and I think they're having a bad time and I think this would be a really stupid trade. But at the same time, I wouldn't mind seeing Chris Letang go somewhere else i mean he has two stanley cups so what else does he need to accomplish in his career anyways guys what do you think trade before the deadline after the deadline in the off season if so to who for how much for you know what player for what player we don't know we'll see anyways guys hope you guys do it anyways see you later